Alright guys, so we're back here on some more Modern Warfare Zombies and today I'm going to be showing you guys the absolute best way that I have found so far for you guys to solo the brand new Season 5 Elder Dark Ether. Maybe if you still need that grenade bandolier, that stash increase, or that disciple bottle, you don't really feel like running with the team, well we definitely got you covered here today. Plus we got a little secret that's going to be making this Elder Dark Ether way easier to do. With that, welcome back to the channel everybody. If y'all don't know, my name is Ghost. Appreciate everybody that stops by the video today. If you're into Zombies content or anything Call of Duty, rock the hell out of that like button for me and subscribe to the channel guys we want to say a big thank you and a huge shout out to every single one of you for making this happen we just ended up hitting 23,000 subscribers we're already on the road to 24 and i know you guys are going to make it happen soon now to start this thing off the setup for this elder dark ether run is actually not too complicated but i would personally recommend you guys do is bring in three century guns and at least six cashmere grenades as you guys can tell we are rocking with the scorcher here today and the vr11 now you can do this without the scorcher but you're going to be biting time a little bit yes using the vr11 and the scorcher is going to be your best bet from what i have been able to tell so far you can use that vr11 to not only heal up this escort mission while you're doing it also it's going to come into play during the outlast contract as well now besides the century guns cashmere grenades and a couple of sulfur fives the number one thing that i would recommend you guys bring in here if you've been able to farm one up is a disciple bottle these guys just absolutely keep surprising me man i mean this guy made it all the way through this entire run he was with me when i spawned into the dark ether and he was with me when i extracted this isn't going to happen for you every single time i have had a few times where these guys die off on me during a contract or something but if you be sure to just kind of watch their back and you know deal with the zombies or anything that's trying to attack them it will definitely last you quite a while and these disciples for some reason are just absolutely tough as hell i mean especially when you try to compare them up to like the merc or the friendly hellhound the merc is definitely a little bit tougher than the hellhound but i mean if you're trying to use the hellhound they just die off in like a single contract actually kind of sad to see what they did to those things they used to be so good and now they're just almost kind of useless one of the things i do like doing with a dog bone though is if i know i'm coming into a dark ether and if i'm doing an outlast contract they're really good decoys usually they will survive throughout the majority of the contract so it just makes doing those easier now when you guys come in here one of the very first thing that i would recommend you guys do is start with the escort mission this is going to be the hardest one in here to complete and is going to be what you're going to be using the majority of all the stuff that you brought in here for now, i would recommend you guys take two of those sentries guns and put them on top of the ACV and make sure that they are facing towards the back. That's where the vehicle is going to be taking all the damage from. The zombies really can't damage the vehicle from the front. The ACV is just going to run everything over that it kind of gets in front of it. You're going to want to save those cashmere grenades for when this thing comes to a stop because there's going to be a lot of zombies that spawn in. This ACV also makes four stops in total so just be sure that you saved up enough of those things. I would only recommend trying to use one per stop two if you have to. You can also do what I was kind of doing in this match here was I was kind of juggling back and forth my decoy grenades that I had on me at the same time. Every once in a while just take your scorcher and shoot back behind the ACV. Get rid of some of those zombies. Get some of those uh, zombies and bosses and everybody off of your friendly disciple. Definitely be sure to just keep an eye on the health of your ACV. I can't tell you how many times that I have been sitting on this thing and for some reason I was just spacing off and didn't realize that the health was so low and I end up failing the contract. That's never fun. If you do have plenty of ammo in the VR11 and you're not too worried about running now don't be afraid to turn a zombie or two every once in a while they act as good decoys and they'll get rid of some of the other zombies and stuff for you but it really cannot be understated at all how much work that this disciple actually puts in during this contract i feel like i'm dealing with about half the amount of zombies that i would have regularly if you guys do want to know how to get this contract done without the vr11 we do have another video up on the channel that does show that we'll warn you guys though right now doing it that way is incredibly difficult and towards the end of this contract i was definitely really worried that this thing was going to blow up we did make it though now yes guys i am also still working on my all dark ethers video here for modern warfare zombies where we're going to be going through every single one of the dark ethers and i'm going to be breaking them down all for you guys all of the contracts and all of the easter eggs everything there is to do inside of the dark ethers i'm going to cram it all into one nice large video this run is definitely going to be part of that but i wanted to get this out here today without you know any cuts or splices so you guys can see exactly how i went through the dark ether and did this i don't know if i'm going to be able to keep up with the commentary for a solid 15 minutes but we're going to try to thug it out here also, when you get to the end of the escort contract here, you don't have to actually defeat all those bosses that are spawning in. From one thing that I've kind of noticed though too is that you can actually distract them all with a single decoy. And then I sit in the back of that pickup truck and I toss out a bunch of casual grenades and I'm usually okay to finish out the rest of the contract. Also, if you guys need to know where anything is inside of this dark ether, like the exact locations, if you guys want an actual map to look at, I'm going to throw up this map up on the screen right here. Big shout out to MWZHub.GG. They honestly do amazing work putting together all of these interactive 
maps they have one for the big map and they also do all of the dark ethers if you guys want to know where absolutely anything is they definitely got you covered be sure to check them out let me know down in the comment section what is your guys's favorite schematic out of the three new ones that we got i know technically that the stash increase isn't a schematic so between the bandolier and the disciple bottle i mean for me i gotta say i love this disciple bottle it makes doing all of the elder dark ethers just so much easier i really do love that grenade bandolier though don't get me wrong i definitely think it's cool that it replenishes our lethals and tacticals i mean especially that i can get my decoys back pretty fast but it also replenishes like if you have monkey bombs or cashmere grenades it replenishes those too may it be just a little bit slower we're coming up here to the end of our escort mission here and you're gonna see as soon as this thing comes to a stop i'm gonna toss out a decoy and you're gonna notice all the bosses just go running after the thing which is a little crazy to me because from my knowledge the bosses are not distracted by the decoys only zombies are i was like man i will definitely take it i would say as long as you got a decoy and you got at least two cashmere grenades for this very end spot you should be perfectly good to go you might have to do a little bit of jumping around from the truck to the acv and kind of shooting it with the vr11 here and there but i mean if you guys are confident enough that you're even trying this solo i'm sure you guys got it i gotta say if you guys have made it this far and if you've completed this contract well then congratulations because basically the hardest part is done but there is another reason why i would advise you guys to get this escort mission done first and that is because then you can just go straight over and start the spore contract because that's one that you don't want to be doing last because there's going to be spores all over inside of the dark ether here and if you don't have enough time left the circle's going to be really small gas is going to be closing in and it's going to be kind of tough and then also the outlast contract is going to be right beneath the tower where our exfil is so it's just going to be really easy once we complete that one to just scorch up and get out of here you can complete these in different orders i have seen other people do it this is just the way that i would advise you guys to do it because i have seen people die to the gas before trying to complete the other contracts the loot we got out of that first one really wasn't too bad we got a disciple bottle plus a refined crystal so i'll definitely be taking those the crazy thing about this run here guys is that we ended up getting a disciple bottle out of every single contract to me right now that is one of the most valuable items in this game right now unless they end up nerfing the disciple sometime here soon i really really hope they don't do i think this is going to be one of the most sought after items for a little while now one of the unfortunate things about this elder dark ether guys is that the schematics are not guaranteed now, for me i ended up getting the grenade bandolier i think on like my second run in here i ended up getting the disciple bottle after i made like 10 runs in here and then i didn't get the stash increase i'm not even joking guys probably like 20 runs or so I just absolutely refused to give it to me then eventually we did get all three i do think it's mainly just because we are towards the end of the life cycle and they knew this was going to be the very last dark ether and i think they wanted people to actually come in here and try to do this over and over again it's like with the first dark ether besides the people that are going back in there to you know farm up ether blades or you know golden armor plates things like that once you went in there and got those guaranteed schematics from the elder dark ether there wasn't really another reason to go back into the elder dark ether oh yes you would have a better chance of getting better loot inside of the elder dark ether but i mean you could always just go inside of the regular one and still get the same stuff so i think they were kind of trying to fix that it just kind of sucks with the rng in this game sometimes now we are in the middle of doing our spore contract and a couple of tips that i can give you guys for doing this is make sure that you are throwing down two of the spore inhibitors that's going to be stripping these things way faster than if you only throw down one for the weapons that i'm rocking here the second that that thing pops shoot your scorcher at it and then throw your ether blade and that'll do just enough damage to get rid of the spore I also advise you guys to try to fill your backpack up with as many of these uh spore inhibitors as you can so that way you don't have to try to pick these things up off the ground once you get rid of the spore i mean you got all those zombies and mini bosses around you it's just a pain trying to pick these things up and it could possibly end up putting you down even though i had plenty of those things in my backpack i was still making the mistake myself and trying to pick these things up but for me personally i think for a lot of other people the very first contract that we did the escort is definitely way harder than this one so if you guys had no problem getting that contract done i'm definitely confident that you guys got this handled a few spores that might give you a little bit of trouble are like those ones that are off on the small floating islands but if you have your disciple with you some decoys you should be just fine if you are shooting off the launch pads you don't have to pull your shoot you can actually just slam into the ground and that'll do damage against the zombies as well one of the main things that i will say is when you finish the contract is be sure to try to grab whatever you need out of the rift and get it and go as fast as you can because you can get put down by all of these zombies it definitely happened to me once or twice before especially on these tiny floating islands when you don't really have anywhere to go don't mind me i don't know what i was doing with my scorcher right here i think i tried opening up my bag and equipping that other uh spore inhibitor like twice and for some reason it just wasn't equipping so i eventually just said screw it and flew off get our very last spore here done the loot out of this contract was definitely pretty damn good too we ended up getting another disciple bottle 
plus we ended up getting a legendary ether tool so i'll definitely be taking those i'm loving these disciple bottles man if they want to just keep giving them to me i will definitely take them now it is time for us to go on over and finish our very last contract in here and that's going to be the outlast contract and honestly guys i think this is the easiest contract in here to complete now, i know what some of you are probably thinking that it gets absolutely just hectic as all hell inside of here and it really does but i have a few little tips for you guys or when i told you guys to bring in three century guns well two were for the acv and your last century gun is going to be going in this room here with you once you go in and activate your pnd just find a good corner to set down your century gun and that thing's definitely going to help you fend off a lot of the zombies and bosses in here now what you're going to want to do is have your vr11 out because you do get a little bit of a running speed boost when you have the vr11 out you're just a slight bit faster than you are with any other weapon i would advise you to be running with your vr11 out and you're just going to be training in circles all around this room just non-stop running and every once in a while if you see a nice zombie that you can turn with your vr11 to kind of help you out a little bit and act as another decoy for you you can definitely do that check this out guys our disciple is still in here just chilling in the corner acting as a good decoy man these things are absolutely awesome that's really about it guys if you have any spare decoys or casimir grenades or if you find monkey bombs on the ground like i did in here that I mean, you can always pick those up but i think it really doesn't get more simple than that guys just come in here activate the pnd throw down your century gun and start running in circles I'm telling you right now the more that you just try to stop and try to shoot at zombies or try to kill off these bosses that are in here you're just gonna end up having a bad time kind of like when you pizza when you're supposed to french fry you're gonna have a bad time Not to whoever got that south park reference <laughs> yeah guys this dark ether i mean especially inside of the elder it can definitely be incredibly difficult but i think as long as you come in here with the proper setup got the right stuff and you just kind of know what you're doing it's going to be an absolute breeze for you guys i know that this one seems really hard but the more and more time that i've had to think about it i honestly think that the season three dark ether i think that one's even harder than this one if you guys have done that dark ether you know how many zombies and bosses that they spawn in on you on that map it is just absolutely ridiculous if they spawn in so many zombies on you the game actually starts lagging and stuff and i feel like the whole thing is just gonna crash just absolutely insane stuff and i know that they put those power-ups in there and i think that's kind of supposed to balance it out you got the exploding headshots you got the fast feet and then you got the one that's supposed to be you know dropping the power-ups like the nukes and stuff for me it doesn't seem like the power-ups work properly all the time i don't know that could be just me it's mainly the one that's supposed to be dropping the nukes to help with the escort mission for some reason that one it doesn't even really drop me very many nukes so many times it'll only drop me like one or two throughout the entire contract just kind of it but look at this guys check this out our loot we got another disciple puddle we got another legendary ether tool so fuck yeah guys i'm really happy with the loot on this one plus look at that that disciple bottle schematic is in there as well now all there is left to do guys is to just get the hell out of this building here and scorch up to the very top to our exfil and get the hell out of here take a look at this guys when we get to the very top of the tower our disciple friendly companion is just sitting up here chilling he really ended up surviving throughout that entire escort contract stayed right next to me while doing the spores and he also acted as a really good decoy inside of the outlast contract man w disciple but i do believe that is going to be about it guys we are here at the end let me know what you guys are thinking about this down in the comment section that is how you guys can solo the new dark ether get all of these schematics for yourself if you guys did enjoy the video please do me the biggest favor in the world and drop a huge like on it subscribe to the channel if anybody is new i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i will catch you in the next one